What's up guys? Welcome back to RimWorld, where we have a poison ship to deal with, we have some construction to do, and I've already planned out a few things. Uh, much like we did over here, we're going to roof this little patio area in. I think it'll look nice. Uh, we're also going to get some wood flooring for the little like deck style porch, and hopefully we'll be able to get the clinic up and running. Uh, now what I'm currently thinking about, I know I said we were going to have like this main strip be completely open, but this area right here is just screaming at me to be like a little neighborhood type area so i kind of want to have like another row of houses not like another row of houses i want another row of houses uh specifically so i think that's something that we're gonna do i'm gonna go ahead and deconstruct these guys that way we can get the poor odie poor odie you can <laughs> odie <laughs> poor odie she's like i can't I can't I can't function like this <laughs> all right so that worked so now we have a patio set up over here we have our little wood floors over here we'll bring our tile over some I'm not super concerned about this ship I mean I say that but um, I don't know what I want to do for the front of this maybe paved tile will wait we'll wait on that for a little while we still need to get some lights and stuff in there, but yeah, I really want to get um, another set of four houses over here. How many colonists do we actually have? We have one, two, three, four, six, eight, nine. We have nine of them. That'll actually be just enough houses um, because we'll put our main doctor up in this area, and then we'll have the uh, everyone else over here, um, and then we can set up some sort of apartment area for any newer colonists. Or maybe do a modular house like we're doing over here. Low medicine. Still in the volcanic winter. I'm I'm glad I got these extra solar panels up. That means our sun lamps are coming on around 6 or 7 in the morning, which is helping out. Unfortunately, we can't do anything with Daria. Um, our mood situation is, is doing pretty okay. So if we get a pirate merchant, I'm going to see if we can sell her. I, I don't know. Maybe I'll sell her in the hopes that someone will be able to patch her up. And she'll be able to do something of course she would probably be a slave at that point or turn into a pirate um, which she might prefer death where's Smokey where's you know what I'm gonna turn off animal names <laughs> okay now where's Smokey I don't I don't see his name anywhere there he is he's right here what are you doing you're resting? No, you're calling these people. I would wait Ghost up, but he's slow and I believe he's sleeping. Yeah, he's sleeping. Lady Shy playing a quiet game of chess by herself. And again, I'm in I'm in no hurry to get this uh this poison ship taken care of. So we have a lot of clothing we can sell. We'll probably make some cowboy hats for our lovely colonists. Power armor helmets. This is where I really hate the apparel system unless it's been changed but to my knowledge it hasn't um, I don't think any sort of protective anything should count against wearing tattered apparel because yes it's a 47 percent condition like durability power armor helmet but would you rather have a half durability power armor helmet that still does a good amount of protection or would you rather just not have a helmet and have your little squishy pink brain vulnerable to everything at all times so I think it, it's really annoying that the like the Kevlar vest the power armor the power armor helmets uh, the various helmets the power shields those things actually give them a penalty like I understand wanting to have something better but at the same time this is better than nothing I'm gonna sell them just because I don't want people grumpy um, that that might be a mistake but I don't know I also don't like having to make them force wear stuff uh, because I want them to be able to go equip the best thing possible at all times. So me making them force wear something like removes that slot from their, their choice of equipping new things. Cloth Parker, we'll, we'll hang on. Well, no, that's poor quality. We'll go ahead and get rid of both of these. We can always make better parkas. There's a good one. We'll hang on to that one. We'll hang on. No, that's, again, <laughs> not that great. Uh, we need to get better shields for our melee guys as well. I wish they had some personal shields. That would be pretty awesome. 
We have a lot of parkas, actually. Oh my. Rocket launcher. Maybe we should use the rocket launcher on uh, on the mechs. I think that would probably be, probably be better saved for uh, for someone, like a, a large group of maybe tribals, where we can get a lot of splash damage. We can get squirrels. Ooh. Squirrels. Hmm. I believe these live to be like 220? Yeah, 220. That's tempting. Just It's tempting just for science purposes to see if it'll eat the trees that we have in our grove. Um, I could get power armor for someone. I think we're just going to take the money. We could get a, a telescope. We'll get a telescope just to have it stocked. Um, and we need to start working on art as well. Do we have an artist? We do. Tim. Tim is a, a pretty solid artist. Skill of 10 already. Alright, so we're getting a good solid 12 hours of grow time out of all of our little grow pods, which is really awesome. Um, very helpful. Very, very helpful. We have a good amount of food. We still have a good amount of hay. Uh, we still need wood. And we're getting limestone blocks made, which is which is good. A psychic ship. Excuse me. <laughs> a large piece of an ancient ship has crashed, crashed nearby. Well... That's just awkward. <laughs> I guess I guess Odie and uh, and Smokey Dan need to get to work pretty much as soon as possible. Um, but like I said before, I'm not I'm not in a rush. Not for this one specifically because like what's it gonna kill? It's got to travel like all the way up here before it even starts affecting us. Uh, Combat supplier, we can get some cheap medicine. That'll be good. Um, Smokey Dan, we'll we'll have you call them real quick. Odie, just come hang out in here where it's nice and warm. All right, let's go ahead and hmm. frag grenades are tempting as a start, but I think whoever throws them is going to die immediately. Uh, we're gonna hang on to them just in case. Uh, I guess just in case. Get rid of all of this stuff that we don't need. Charge rifle. Keep the rocket launcher. Keep the sniper rifle as well. Get a superior assault rifle. Hang on to that charge rifle. Hmm. I oh, know that. No, that's not ours. That's theirs. We have one, but it's... Yeah. Minigun. Sell all these clubs. I much, much prefer being able to just click this stuff than having to sit there and do the click swipe thing. Um, knives are tempting. So is buying all their medicine. I think, I think we'll take all of their medicine for right now. And they don't have any personal shields from what I can tell, which really sucks. This helmet is super expensive. It's almost 4,000 silver. Oh my. Oh, oh my. Almost want to buy some arty shells. That way we can set up some mortars maybe in the town square. Um, and have them mortar people. I was thinking if we did that, we could do some sort of like middle structure here that'll completely... The problem with doing these middle structures... Uh, is they ruin line of sight, so this doesn't really become a kill box, it's like a kill square. Um, <laughs> if you guys understand what I mean. <laughs> Just because it would be nice to have a, a walled-in area right here that's unroofed, and then we can put in our, our arty shells, uh, as well as uh, the mortars inside to keep whoever's mortaring safe. And then, uh, which I mean, we wouldn't really need to do that, so I guess we wouldn't have to. Uh, and then we could surround the area with maybe like eight turrets, have two on each corner, something like that. Um, I think that would be okay. Maybe we just put a little tiny, like maybe two by two room or three by three room in here, fill it with arty shells, put uh, and then put the mortars on the sides, have doors on both sides. I think that might work as well. We might actually try that. We might try that. I realize I'm completely ignoring and avoiding these ships. <laughs> so, is this even or odd? That's even. Okay, so I'm probably going to want to do a 2x2. Two two. So if these two are the middle, what about this one? This way is also even. So, these two are the middle. So I'll bring these guys in. Yes. Yes, it's that OCD coming in, guys. It's that OCD coming in fast and furious. 
So we'll put a room right here. This will have our arty shells in it. Uh, and then we'll have a door on both sides. Which upsets me. <laughs> it really upsets me. Excuse me for a moment. I absolutely love being able to pause the recording and pick it up right after the pause. It's so great. Uh, so yeah, we'll do something like this and then we can get... Mortars are... I believe mortars are 2x2. Two two. We can't actually get mortars. That's something we have to research. But I'm, I'm fairly confident they're 2x2s. Two uh, so we can put maybe... I don't know, maybe have like four of them. Have them kind of next to the corners. That way the people firing can just kind of walk in, grab some shells, walk back out. Um, this will have a roof over it, which will break up line of sight a little bit. But then if we put the turrets, like maybe... I don't know, I want to make sure they're far enough away to where they don't explode. Uh, explode each other. So if we do maybe something like this, I think this could be pretty good. Actually, I think that's that might be too close. Hmm. No, that that should be fine. I guess we'll find out. I think that'll work. So maybe if we do something like this, this will be our defensive area. We can uh, put some sandbags around it, and I'm thinking about maybe putting some support pillars or something in there. That way, we can have infantry. But we'll have, we should have plenty of doorways and stuff and, and, and line line of sights, lanes for them to uh, be able to shoot into. I kind of like that. Our nice little defensive town square and then we'll be able to put the houses over here. Uh, like I said, I know that kind of breaks up the whole, like, wanting to have this giant open kill box area. But I think, I think I like this, this setup. This might mess up our mortar placement. It does mess up our mortar placement. Um, crap. Because if these take a bunch of damage, uh, they'll explode the mortars. But I think these we're probably going to build out of plasteel. What if we kick them out one? Something like that, maybe? Yeah. I think that'll work a little bit better. And then we can have our mortars here. That's still pretty close to the mortars. It's still within range of exploding the mortars, but it's a little bit better, I think. I guess we could always space them out a little bit more. But we'll we'll see how it goes. I, I really just want to keep keep tinkering with this. Like, we can put these outer ones out a little bit more. And then that should let us put uh, a couple of mortars and then keep them safe, hopefully. I think I like it. I think I like it. And if, I mean, if we put these down one, that will not negate this middle section, but it'll make it so we'll still have a good number of turrets firing. Um, I kind of like that. Yeah, so. <laughs> Sorry, uh, I know, like, some people are interested in this kind of, like, planning and, and building, but some people aren't. Um, it's just, it's one of those things. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta plan stuff. I know it's a, a simple design, but it's it's something that needs to at least be thought out. Um, I guess we're gonna take care of this ship first because it's the one that's gonna be affecting our colonists the most. Uh, Psychic drone low, urgently hungry. You're consuming a meal. That's good at least. You're not gonna get like eight off the ground. Yep, you are, because you ate on the bed and that counts as the ground. There's a chest table here. You could have walked over here. No one told you to be that hungry, uh, but that's that's okay, I guess. Um, Where'd Smokey Dan go? There's Smokey Dan. He's cleaning some dirt. We're gonna grab him. We're gonna grab Odie. We're gonna bring them outside. Uh, I will go ahead and turn on these turrets just because... What are the the pigs? What are the pigs doing? Whoa now. Whoa now, pigs. Oh, they're following Odie. <laughs> they're following Odie. Odie, you have pigs. The pig whisperer. Odie the pig whisperer. Alright, let's, let's get him over here. I'm turning the turrets on because I'm worried that they'll, like, just leash onto the town. Even though we shouldn't. Or they shouldn't. I don't know how we have low medicine. We just bought a huge amount of medicine. Uh, Winnow's currently carrying it. Okay. I didn't see it up there. I was a little bit worried. Uh, can you guys... You're a little closer. Just, like, right here. We'll have you guys kind of dance around with the mech some. And... There we go. Oh, dear. That is a lot more mechs than I was expecting. Just just fall back. Fall back now. 
fall back now. See, this is what I was worried about. I was worried they're going to leash onto the... Go back. Go back to the ship. Stop aiming. Stop aiming your weapons. Oh, the range on those. The range on our sniper rifle, I believe it's 45. It's 45, yep. The range on these, I think, is like 37. Yep, 37. Uh, so they they have a good range as well. So we need to kind of be careful. We'll see what they do. Ghost is going to visit a grave. Hopefully he's okay with this. Okay, so we can, we can hit this one, which will be good. Almost. Come on now. Get a little bit closer. 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 <laughs> I'm sorry if this is tedious. It's just... I'm trying to keep everyone safe. Come on now. You can do it. You could have done it. You could have done it. This is actually... I feel like this is a larger than expected amount of mechs. What difficulty are we on? I'm just curious. Are we on Randy? We're on Randy Challenge, not Randy Extreme. I just, I wasn't expecting it. Where are the visitors coming from? Okay, they're up there. Maybe if they leave this way, they'll create enough of a distraction to where we can go up here and cause some, some real damage. I'm just gonna let them plink away like this. They seem to be gathering over here. There we go. This part of the AI kind of needs to be fixed. I mean, I'm I'm grateful for it, but at the same time, it's it's really it's more tedious than anything. Tedious and cheesy. Che cheesiest? I I don't know how else to describe that. We're doing a good job taking out the little scythers, which you know they're always scary. They move in fast and they can wreck people with those charge rifles. Charge lances. I wish we could use their weapons. That would actually be really cool. Let's they're they're chatting out here. Are they getting like buffs from Pleasant Chat? Low expectations had social chat, they're in darkness though. Music feels a little bit loud. I think it's okay. I think I had my headphones up a little bit for Fallout. Come on now. You guys can win this. That one's almost dead actually. Both of them are actually pretty well injured. You guys are doing a good job. You're Tag teaming it up. Doing a great job. There we go. Last Scyther. Hopefully both of these guys will be dead soon. We'll move these guys up a little bit. I think this is the one that's really injured. Awful quality minigun, unfortunately. Still still worth selling, I suppose. A sow has given birth. Yes. We have more piggies. Uh, where Where's the new piggy? Piglet. Which one is it? I don't know which one it is. That one, maybe? Nice, it's another female. Oh, that's awesome. We have so many males. Actually, I guess they're all females. We have like one male. This is good though. This is good. Uh, because we'll be able to start cranking out babies and uh, have have some bacon coming in on a regular basis. Starvation. Oh no. Odie. <gasps> Odie. Both of you. Go, go. Have lunch. Yes, yes. Are you okay now? They're really tired. Fair enough, guys. Fair enough. Uh, Jell, you probably don't want to go that way. Jail? Jail? It sees you, Jail. It's the greatest shot in the world, Jail. <laughs> I think he did more damage to that centipede than anything else. Jail, run this way. Hide him into the friendly fire section. You're gonna make it. I'm not gonna save you. I mean, I will save you if you get taken down and you survive bleeding out. Where are your friends that came with you? Did they just go a different way? Kit over here. Kit's like, ah, I have a knife, I'm not, I'm okay. Okay, well they didn't make it too far. Uh, as soon as Odie and Smokey Dan wake up, we will get back to that. Let's go ahead and do a little bit more planning. So we're going to keep the same design. So we have two off the main road is the door. So we'll do something like this. And we're going to keep the same style house as well. Uh, so two off the main and then the door will be there. So we'll bring you across. This will be the porch area. Alright. I feel like we got this. We got this. And then these go back one. And then out. That is three, right? Yep, that's three. Okay. 
So then out, and then it's just a, from there, it's a 6x6. Six six. Okay. We're going to have to move this turret, but that's okay. So yeah, then we'll remove these plans right here because we know what's going on over here. Good times bears. I feel like that's not right. Is it right? Have one and then around. That's not right. <laughs> I think I made it. I made it back too far. I did make it back too far. It should have gone from here over. Okay. This is my bad. This is my bad. Alright, so then now we have a six by six. There we go. That looks and feels slightly better. Uh, I'm going to just let these guys keep doing what they do. Did my cursor freak out a little bit? Possibly. Quite possibly. Uh, so we're going to have another set of houses over here. That means we're going to need to move our turrets soon as well. Uh, just for defensive purposes. I guess for right now, um, the turrets... Hmm, I don't really know what to do about this. I don't really want it there. Just because I don't trust it. Smokey Dan and Odie still sleeping it off. It's okay though, you're getting a little low on joy. Smokey Dan is also getting a little low on joy. We need a lot of wood. We we really do need a lot of wood. Uh, but we need to get this area built as well. Structure, let's go ahead and get some limestone blocks down. And this will be our clinic. Um, I'm not going to make the rooms super large. We're just going to do little 4x4s for these just because they're going to be in there to heal up, not in there to enjoy life, I guess. <laughs> they're going to be in there to help make life a little bit better. Uh, so we'll get this built up. Hopefully no one traps themselves. Uh, and then in the morning we'll send Odie and Smokey Dan outside to take care of that. I feel like we got a good amount of construction planned out. We still have to wall this section right here. Just so things have to come through this top area. I don't really want them coming through our, our barn and solar field. Alright. Uh, let's go ahead and grab Smokey Dan. Just, just Smokey Dan. The villain and Odie over here. You guys are probably hungry now, aren't you? Yeah, they're a little hungry. Are you carrying any meals on you? Nope, you didn't. You didn't replenish. Odie's carrying milk, human meat, rice, and berries. Um, I think you'll be fine, though. He's actually grumpy about that. He straight up turned and is like, I'm not taking that. That's why you guys better kill him quick. Ooh, lots of food down here. That's awesome. We're, here we are. We're here. One more shot, and then you guys should probably run away. Let's fall back a little bit. Play it safe. Play it cool. There we go. John Travolta style. Don't even know what I'm talking about at this point. You guys are doing a really good job. There we go. That's another one down. Let's bring you a little bit closer. Taking those pot shots. This is the one that's like just super almost dead. Ghost. Scary. Run away. You're not the fastest. You should be okay now. You should be fine. Make it dead. Make it dead. Almost. Ghost go. I don't even know what you were doing. Were you like walking down here to pick these up? They're down here. And I didn't even unforbid them. I don't know where he was going. Maybe to clean up some blood or something? Alright, cool. It's it's gone now. You guys go get some breakfast. Uh, we will take Lady Shy over here. You should be okay. You're a little stressed, actually. Why are you stressed? Ugly environment, psychic drone. Well, why don't you come over here uh, and, and you can shoot at that all day long. Um, and we'll bring we'll bring Winnow over here as well. She's going to go play some chess. She's going to come shoot a minigun. Alright, Lady Shy, if you want to just pew pew at that. Winnow, if you would like to just pew pew at that. Maybe get a little bit closer. There we go. Look at that. Oh, this is that... Was that water? It's actually marsh. Okay. Uh, so we got some silver, we got a little bit of steel, and we got this Persona Core. Haul that in, please. And haul in that silver, please. Thank you. We also have a lot of mechs that we can now disassemble for more stuff, as well as a minigun that we'll be able to sell. Thankfully, no one has locked themselves in <laughs> just yet, uh, which is which is always always a small victory in and of itself. Um, we'll get this area ready soon. We're just we're waiting on some wood right now. That's what we're waiting on. Uh, this 
I wouldn't mind having, I guess, a, a granite. Well, no, since we have granite blocks, I think we should probably just make a little wall over here for right now. Um, I really... I think what we're going to do... Let me let me plan it out. I know I've been doing a lot of planning, and I, I, I kind of apologize for that. Let's go ahead, and we're going to wall this area in. Uh, we're going to just, like, fill this whole section in with granite right here. And we're going to make a nice little shell off of this. And then we'll run down here. No, just just like this. We'll run down here and kind of just bring it bring it over to this area. Like this. And we will double layer it, of course, just to help out a little bit. So let's go ahead and structure granite wall. Let's get this started. And we'll do the same thing for over here, and this will be our entry point into the city. Um, yeah. I think this should work. I think it should work. So we'll get that going. I guess it doesn't really matter because it's not... Actually, yeah, I guess it makes more sense to do this outer layer first, or this inner layer first. Uh, just because the blocks are up here. So we'll get all this going. It will be amazing and super amazing and delicious and, and awesome and all sorts of words. Uh, pick some. Pick some that you like and it'll be those words. Uh, the poison ship, I know I know we said we were going to do something about it today. I don't... Is it also emitting a psychic drone? It's not. You're actually hot right now. Maybe I should turn... I'm going to turn these down to uh, 60 degrees. They're actually just going to use less power now because... Oh, it's actually not that cold outside anymore. That's why. Okay. Um, you're not hot, though, are you? No, you're comfortable. We do need to get some better beds. This is a bulk goods trader, so it's going to be really nice for us. I know Smokey Dan just went to sleep, but... We, we kind of need you, Smokey Dan. We kind of need you. Because we're going to buy some wood. We're going to buy all of their wood. Um, as well as... Someone asked me, I think it was in the stream... Have I have I heard there they were talking about a few different challenges. I'm typically not the kind of person that will go on like forums or uh, subreddits or anything like that for games. Um, but they told me about a couple of interesting challenges. One is you you're not allowed to mine. I think I think it was, which seems kind of interesting. I'm gonna buy just a little bit of extra steel, uh, just to have um, to help out with turrets. And if they have plastic steel, I'm gonna buy some of that too. But I don't see any, which is unfortunate. <gasps> Did I see a terrier somewhere? I thought I saw a terrier. Maybe I was mistaken. I guess I was mistaken. Oh, there it is. <laughs> there it is. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, no mining would be would be pretty interesting. Um, it would just hurt your defenses a little bit early on until you could get some turrets up. Uh, the other one that I thought was sounded cool, which kind of fits with uh, me liking to build sort of, I don't know, more logical type buildings. I don't, maybe not logical, um, realistic structures. I don't really know how to phrase it, uh, but basically, like how I've been doing the modular style housing. Um, there's a challenge to make it so you have to make every house an actual house so with multiple bedrooms and you have like a living room uh, a kitchen a dining room and then every house has like its own food storage area so like its own little walk-in fridge um, I thought that would be pretty interesting I'm not doing it of course but I thought it would be interesting we're gonna buy some more chocolate I'm just kinda like looking at this list seeing if there's anything I wanna get uh, we'll get we'll get some we'll get a hundred chocolate how about that how about that it would be great if we could grow our own chocolate um, or just make your own chocolate like we can in modded. That seems like a reasonable thing to put in. Or maybe do some sort of baking. I just, I wish there was more food stuff. I know there are mods for it. But I like, I like the food stuff. It's the good stuff. Mmm, poison ship. Uh, we're gonna have to wait. We're gonna have to wait on that for the next episode. Since we did get so much wood though, we can start making, making stuff. Uh, this area, let's go ahead and furniture... Let's get a, a nice wooden royal bed in here for our doctor. This is actually an odd shaped room. There you go, that wall works. That works nicely. Get that going there. These will get hospital beds in the future. 
uh, once we get those researched. But someone will move in here. Um, I have been told that because of the outside temperatures that I'm dealing with, that using vents to heat these is going to be kind of unreasonable. Uh, and I, just based off of playing this, would agree. Um, so I'm, I'm going to probably not use vents. I guess I'll go ahead and deconstruct one of these since we don't really need it at the moment. Um, and we will also start working on that area over there. I'm going to wait until they get the wall finished before we start working on this stuff. I think that makes, makes more sense. So this is going to be our main doctor's house. Our highest skilled doctor. Uh, it's going to be Lady Shy or Smokey Dan, actually. I think I'll give it to Lady Shy. Let me, let me click her. Where's... Medicine is an 11 with a passion for it. Smokey Dan, 12 with passion for it. I think I'm going to give it to Lady Shy. Critical alert, poor mood ghost. Colonist left unburied. Who? Who was left unburied? Who died? Work? Did someone die? I don't think anyone died. Did an animal die in here? I don't... It would be nice if they would tell me who. Did I just not see someone die? We had eight when, or nine when we started. That's two, four, six. Who died? Who are we missing? Killseek, Odie, Ghost, Winnow, Lady Shy, Smokey Dan, Tillidus, Tim. Who died? Did someone go out here and die? What now? There's Daniil. I thought we had nine whenever. Maybe I miscounted. Two, four, six, eight. Who am I missing? I'm sorry if I'm missing you and you're just like screaming at me. It's me. Is it someone in one of these? No. I don't... I have to find this. You. Who are you? Ricky! <gasps> How did Ricky die? Oh my goodness. Ricky, I'm so sorry. I don't... She walked over here while they were out here. I guess while it was nighttime? What was she doing? Oh, she was getting chocolate. Oh my goodness. I let Ricky die because she was getting chocolate. Oh my goodness. I I am so sorry, Ricky. I am so You know what this is? I, I'll tell you guys what this is. Um in, in one of the streams, specifically in uh Tuesday stream, she refused to die. I think that's what this is. Um We're gonna we're gonna have to do this. Who's Smokey Dan? Who has are these crafting skill? Like, is this crafting or is it considered art? Uh, Tillidus is gonna make it, or or not? Who's our highest crafter slash artist? It's actually gonna be Lady Shy. I kind of wanna, I wanna have Lady Shy do it. Um, Ricky, I'm so sorry. No, you stop. You. Odie, everyone calm down. I want her to do it. And then, yep. Nope, don't consume her meal. Why are you gonna... Ghost is gonna come do it. Not strip her, hopefully. Alright, and we'll undraft Odie. Where is Ghost? Ghost, I'm sorry, you're just, you're slow. You're just really slow. <laughs> I want you to bury her. I don't want you to strip Ricky. I want you to... There we go. Bury her. It's because I had her... I had her drafted. Alright. We're going to bury Ricky. Ricky, again, I'm just super sorry about this. She's got a, a normal quality sarcophagus. Bulk goods trader visitors. Art. 
The sarcophagus is engraved with a portrayal of a centipede brutally murdering Ricky, seemingly without remorse. On May 3rd, 5502, blood is pooling around Ricky's body. The scene takes place in the middle of a burrow. The work is executed in an expressionistic style. Ricky, apologies. I... I don't... Like, I feel bad that you're dead, but I also don't feel as bad because I didn't watch it happen. So I guess maybe it hasn't hit me yet. I... I, I feel pretty bad about it, though. Ricky. Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry that I... I neglected to see the chocolate that was over there. I guess that's where Ghost was going that one day. Um, I just didn't look over far enough and notice that there was chocolate. Uh, that's going to wrap this one up, you guys. Ricky, again, from the bottom of my heart, I'm so sorry you died for chocolate. Hopefully, hopefully it's okay with you. Because chocolate's delicious, you guys. It, uh, it really is. I don't know. <laughs> it's not going to be okay. I'm sorry, Ricky. That's going to wrap this episode up. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And as always, thanks for watching. And have a good one.